So I was at work at the airport. I worked for the airline and I worked down the gates and I was a supervisor and one of my agents was boarding a flight to Las Vegas, I believe. And this man came up and he was inquiring about his seat. He wanted to know um, if his seat was in first class. So I looked at his boarding pass and I said, no, you have a coach seat. He goes, well, I should be in first class. I paid for it. My dad paid for a first class ticket. I need to be in first class. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, but your seat is in coach. Your first class is full. And he's like, well, we need to do something about this. I have a first class seat. I was in first class on my way here. I should be in first class on my way to Vegas. So I'm like, well, your seat says you're in coach, so let me take a look. So I looked in the computer and he was in the first class from Miami to Charlotte. But from Charlotte to Vegas, he was in coach. So he had upgraded his ticket only part of the way, but not all the way to Vegas. And so I told him that, well, we might have somebody not show up for first class if he would like to wait and see. And he proceeded to get into a little fit about the fact that he was supposed to be in first class. He started acting really weird. And the other agent told me, she said, I, I think you need to go get the manager because the guy just started acting really weird. He wouldn't understand what I was telling him. And he just kept insisting that he be put in first class. So I went off and got the manager and came back. And when the manager came over and started talking to him, he um, started talking in a foreign language, you know, pretending that he was talking in another language. And when the manager was speaking to him in English, he said, he says, you need to stop talking. I can't understand a word you're saying. So we were all getting a bit concerned about the man and he kept saying, I speak five different languages. What language would you like me to speak? And so the manager walked away and brought him with him and they talked off to the side and then the man came back and he said to me, he says, I need you to get me an interpreter. And I'm like, what? What? And he said, I need you to get an interpreter for me. Can you get an interpreter for me? I said, certainly, certainly. I can get an interpreter for you. What language would you like me to get? And he's like, what? I said, what language interpreter would you like me to get for you? He says, I don't care. I speak every language. Pick one. And I said, okay, English. I'm your interpreter. <laughs> Kind of funny, but the other person there that was hysterical <laughs> because why would he need an interpreter if he spoke every language there was? <laughs> and so he went off. With the, he went over to the side and he dumped a whole bunch of pills out of his backpack into the trash can. I mean, giant bottles of pills. He must have been on something or not on something because when the police arrived, the police officer was pulling out all these bottles of pills out of the trash can. So the guy comes back over to the desk. We're about finishing boarding the flight, and he wanted to know if he was getting on the flight. And I said, I don't think you're getting on this flight at all. <laughs> so they took him away.